we want to solve the recurrence relation a sub n equals negative six times a sub n minus one minus eight times a sub n minus two with a sub zero equal to two and a sub one equal to 10. We will use the characteristic root technique and therefore the first step is to write the recurrence relation in the form a sub n plus alpha times a sub n minus one plus beta times a sub n minus two equals zero, which means we set the right side of the equation equal to zero by adding six times a sub n minus one and adding eight times a sub n minus two to both sides of the equation. Now that we have the recursive, now that we have the recurrence relation in the proper form, notice alpha, the coefficient of a sub n minus one is equal to six, and beta, the coefficient of a sub n minus two is equal to eight. From here, we can form the characteristic equation, which is in the form of x squared plus alpha x plus beta equals zero, giving us x squared plus six x plus eight equals zero. And now we solve. Notice the left side is factorable. The factors are x plus four and x plus two, and therefore the solutions are x equals negative four or x equals negative two. Because we have two distinct solutions, the solution to the recurrence relation is in the form of a sub n equals a times r sub one to the power of n plus b times r sub two to the power of n. Let's let r sub one equal negative four and r sub two equal negative two. Therefore the general solution is in the form of a sub n equals a times the nth power of negative four plus b times the nth power of negative two. The next step is to determine the values of a and b by using the initial conditions a sub zero equals two and a sub one equals 10. To determine a sub zero, n is equal to zero, a sub zero is equal to a times the zero power of negative four plus b times the zero power of negative two, which must equal two, which is a sub zero. Simplifying, we have the equation a plus b equals two. Next, to determine a sub one, n is equal to one, giving us a times the first power of negative four plus b times the first power of negative two equals a sub one, which is 10. Simplifying, we have the equation negative four a minus two b equals 10. And now we need to solve the system of equations for a and b. And there's lots of ways to solve the system of equations. I'm gonna go ahead and use an augmented matrix. Where to solve the system, we have a two by three matrix. The first row of one, one, two represents the equation a plus b equals two. The second row of negative four, negative two, 10 represents the second equation of negative four a minus two b equals 10. The next step is to write the augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form, which I've already done here. The first row indicates a equals negative seven. The second row indicates b equals nine. And now we sub these values back into the general solution, which gives us the closed formula, a sub n equals negative seven times the nth power of negative four plus nine times the nth power of negative two. This is the solution to the recurrence relation. I hope you found this helpful.